It's quiet here now, Chris, but earlier this was the focus of a huge amount of police and ambulance activity as hundreds of parents were waiting anxiously outside this school for any updates. This is the main comprehensive school serving this very rural area in Carmarthenshire. Fortunately, incidents like this are very rare in schools, but what happened here today has been described by a head teachers union as horrifying. One student said it happened during the third lesson of the morning. Footage was later posted on social media, apparently of the immediate aftermath, where screams can be heard and a pupil in disbelief commenting, she's been stabbed. Molly Evans Hall is in year nine. She was in lessons at the time. There was a code red called on the Tanoi, and they told us all to stay in the classrooms and don't come out because we were on lockdown in the school and I found out about like stabbing and all those horrific things and it, it was scared, it was very scary. You said that you saw videos going around. Yes, you? and we, yeah. So yeah, so they've, even though they may not have seen it happening at the time, she has actually seen it now on somebody's phone, which again is a worry because... We saw the, um, the girl I did um, was on the floor wounded from where the person was, that people had to restrain the person. Yeah. Two air ambulance helicopters were deployed to the scene. The Welsh Ambulance Service said advanced critical care support was provided. And this evening, David Paris Police had this statement. We received a call just after 11.20 a.m advising us people were injured following an incident at the school. Emergency services immediately attended and the school was locked down for the safety of everyone on the premises. Two teachers and a teenage pupil were taken to hospital with stab wounds. Their injuries are not life-threatening. A teenage girl has been arrested on suspicion of attempted murder and currently remains in police custody. A knife has been recovered in evidence. For many parents and relatives, today was spent on pavements outside the school, texting, phoning children inside if they could, <coughs> staggered at what had happened. You don't think it's going to happen here? You think it's going to happen, like, I don't know, some other place, like America or something like that, but like, this is just insane. I am just gobsmacked. Honestly, I'm shocked. My son and my daughter both contacted me from two different classes. And how did they sound? Scared, nervous, they just... They were just really like, so probably the same as yours. It's like, yeah, they just they didn't know what to say, they didn't know what to do. And they, they've been in that classroom for four hours. And it's, it's quite hard. I think they, a lot of children will find it really difficult now because obviously some have seen it, some haven't. Being locked down in a school must be really scary anyway. As the Prime Minister and other politicians joined teaching unions in expressing their shock at today's events, the police said they were working with the school, among others, to ensure appropriate support for all involved. The council said the school would be closed tomorrow while investigations continued.